Hi, hello and welcome back. In this video, we are going to see about the daily aptitude day 75 solution. So today's aptitude questions are taken from the Zoho placement exam. So we are going to discuss about three aptitude questions in detail in this video. So if you are new to this channel and have not subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel for more videos. And also in our channel itself, we have discussed about many Zoho aptitude questions or programming questions and interview questions also. If you are preparing for Zoho and want to see more such videos, in the description I have attached the Zoho preparation playlist link so you can watch that videos and make use of it. So let's get into today's topic. So the first question is the two trains are approaching each other at the speed of 100 km per hour and 50 km per hour. They will meet each other in three hours. So find the current distance between them. So what they have given is they have given the speeds of the two trains as 100 km per hour and 50 km per hour and also they will meet each other in 3 hours they have mentioned they have given the time also they are asking us to find the distance between those two trains so if you have already regularly following our daily aptitude means if two trains are approaching each other means in the same direction means relative speed we have to add those two speeds so relative speed is equal to when they are approaching towards each other or traveling in the same direction we have to add those speeds so 100 plus 50 you will get the answer as 150 km per hour that is going to be the relative speed and the time also they have mentioned as 3 hours now we have to find out the distance so distance formula is what speed into time so speed we have already calculated the relative speed 150 km per hour into time is going to be 3 hours so 150 into 3 if you do means you will get the distance as 450 km so the second question is a boat whose speed in 15 km per hour in the still water goes 30 km downstream and then come back in a total of 4 is to 30 hours then the speed of the stream in km per hour is so what they have given is they have given the speed of boat in still water as 15 km per hour and they are saying that when the boat goes 30 km down, downstream and comes back in a total of 4 hours and 30 minutes then the speed of the stream they are asking us to find. So we don't know what is going to be the speed of the stream so we are assuming that speed of stream be x km per hour and also we don't know the upstream and downstream speed so we have to find the upstream and downstream speed. So speed of downstream how we will find is speed of boat in still water plus speed of stream if you calculate means that is going to be the speed of the downstream so we have taken it as 15 plus x. Similar way upstream if you have to find the speed of upstream means speed of boat in still water minus speed of stream if you do means you will get the speed of upstream that is 15 minus x. Now we are going to form an equation so they have given the total time as 4.5 hours that is 4 hours and 30 minutes we have taken it as 4.5 hours we can form the equation as total time t is equal to t1 plus t2 so t1 will be the downstream speed and uh, sorry downstream time and uh, t2 will be upstream time so we are going to calculate t1 t2 is equal to t we have to find it defined so downstream how we will calculate distance is going to be 30 km divided by 15 plus x is the speed of the downstream speed so 30 divided by 15 plus x so this is the time formula distance divided by speed similar way for upstream 30 divided by 15 minus x equal to total time is 4.5 hours so calculating this equation and solving for the value of x you will get the x value as 5 km per hour so the last question is three unbiased coins are tossed then what is the probability of getting at the most two heads they are asking us to find the at most two heads when three unbiased coins are tossed first we will find the sample space of three coins when it is tossed so sample space for uh, to find the uh, coins tossed the formula is 2 power n so if one coin is tossed means the probability of getting only head or tail so 2 power 1 will be 2 that is 2 possibilities is either head or tail will come similar way 2 coins means 2 power 2 you will do similar way here 3 coins so sample space will be 8 numbers so either 3 can be heads or 2 can be head and 1 can be tail so all the similar ways we have written here they are asking us to find at most 2 heads so at most 2 heads is nothing but less than or equal to 2 less than or equal to 2 means the probability of getting head can be either 0 or 1 or 2 so at most means less than or equal to 2 at least means greater than or equal to 2 you will consider so 0 1 2 means there can be either no heads or one head or two heads so in this if you calculate means eight, apart from 
this three heads all the other things will come because here two heads two heads two heads one head one head here no head and here one head so totally seven numbers were there so your answer will be seven by eight so I hope you like this video. If you like this video, please share it with your friends. And if you're new to this channel and have not subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel for more videos. So see you in the next video. Until then, stay tuned. Signing off from you. Bye. Take care.